Hi, today we'll take a look at how Easy Integrations helps in integrating data from Salesforce to Oracle NetSuite. For a detailed overview of Easy Integrations, you can watch product overview video on our website or YouTube channel. You can also click the link below to access the video. Easy Integrations uses secure APIs and allows seamless integration from source to target with easy configurable setup with limited or no intervention from IT. It's secure, requiring no intermediate staging for transforming the incoming data. Hence, everything happens in real time. Let's jump in and see how integration works by integrating Salesforce to NetSuite using SOAP Request. First, log in to Easy Integrations application. Easy Integrations provides simple steps to enable integration services. It involves configuration of source, target, and integration bridge to enable integration services. We configure a source from where to fetch data. In this case, we select Salesforce as a source. Once it's opened, we create a new source. We name the source as per the needs, and the source type is selected automatically. Under Input tab, select the Salesforce connection name from the dropdown. Select Object Name, and if required, provide filter. Under the Operations tab, we can define any data transformation that needs to be applied to incoming data. Save the source. Click on Data Targets on the menu to configure the target system. Our target system is NetSuite. NetSuite provides SOAP API as a means of communication to post data, so we'll use SOAP as our target. Click on Add, provide target name, and target type is selected automatically. In Output tab, select Method as Post and Authorization Type as Basic Authorization. Provide target credentials along with SOAP URL and object name. Click on the Save button. Navigate to Integration Bridge and click on Add to create a new service. Choose Source Type, Source Name, Target Type, and Target Name from the drop-down. In Mapping, column map the columns from source to target columns from the list available. Click on Save and then search for the integration service that you created. Before starting the integration, Service lets take a look at NetSuite application, which is our target. Log in to NetSuite and select Lists. Hover on Accounting and click on Lists. The items list is empty. Let's start the integration service and bring data from Salesforce. Log in to Salesforce and check the records count. To do this, navigate to Items and display all data. The record count is 3. Now start the integration service and wait for 10 to 15 seconds. In NetSuite, navigate to Lists, Accounting, and click on Items as before. The integration service has brought all the records from Salesforce to NetSuite. Let's add one more record to the Salesforce. Open Salesforce and click on the new item to add item details. Provide item details. Verify and save the details. Now there are four records. The integration service will keep on looking for new records. As soon as it finds new record, it will push it to target. 
As you can see, the fourth record has been added by running the service within a couple of seconds. Thanks for watching. For more details, log on to our website at www.bizdata360.com slash products slash easy integrations or call us at 1-650-283-1644.